Hi everybody, this is Jason from Boatshed Tool Bay, welcoming you on board a very special vessel that we're taking a look at today. She's called the Charles Dibden. She is a converted lifeboat. She was originally constructed in 1905 and served with the RNLI up until 1935. Just going to start off here with a short video showing internally how she's laid out. Just starting off here in the forward cabin. All through this vessel, the construction just looks so strong, sturdy, and just has such a safe feel about her, which you would expect given her status once as a lifeboat. Lots of stowage, again all this woodwork is uh, very very thick sturdy looking timbers. So very nice. Just going to move slowly aft out of the forward cabin and either side of the vessel, port and starboard, we have these rather nice double berths, again with lots of stowage. And the owner informs me that a six foot person will comfortably fit in either of these cabins. And they're both doubles. So I'm just spinning around looking at the port side. Slowly heading out into the saloon area. Really nice big saloon table. Great head height. Again, these stunning looking timbers. Lots of comfy seating. Catch a glimpse of this plaque. She holds a Dunkirk plaque. She is believed to have been one of the little boats during the Second World War, rescuing our servicemen from the beaches of Dunkirk. It's not officially recorded that she took part, but circumstantial evidence is extremely strong to say that she did, according to the current owner. This vessel is on the Historic Ships Registry as well, given her status. Here we've got a nice wood burning stove. Just moving slowly aft, continuing the journey. On the port side, we have a rather nice, substantial, very historic looking galley, hob and oven, big twin sinks, and on the starboard side, we have the heads. shower and really nice big deep bath. So just moving up now into the wheelhouse, a few steps up, then again beautifully crafted woodwork throughout. The current owner has spent decades in restoring this boat to her former glory and it's now a very comfortable liverboard. Now 
And then finally, we have the bosun's locker here, the stern area. Absolutely cavernous areas for stowage. And there's two tiers of it as well. Above that area, again used for stowage at the moment and life jackets etc. But this area actually forms a sea berth as well. Should you have any questions regarding this vessel, please don't hesitate to contact me. Jason at BoatshedTorbay.com And of course you can see a full listing on our website at BoatshedTorbay.com Thanks for watching.